Okay, so you're back to Spain. How do you feel about that? Um, we feel really excited to be back to Spain. Um, we've been recording our album here as well as being in Berlin. So we feel like we was here, we was here a month ago recording. But it's nice to be back playing a live show. And what happened with your album Guns? Because it should have been released earlier, right? No, there was a lot of kind of speculation about the album title. It's not called Cunt. Um, no. It's, no, it's not. That was just a rumor that got out. It was our fault. We were in Berlin recording, and that word means art in uh, German. So we were using it as a kind of rough title, and it got leaked, and it went out. Um, the album's finished. I think it comes out in October. Um, tonight's our first night playing new song. So uh, maybe uh, maybe it should come out tonight. <laughs> In fact, I saw on Facebook that some weeks ago, when you finished recording, you were close to erase all the files from the... That yeah, that that's his right. fault. It's your that? fault. When you nearly well, you erased all the files. Oh, yeah, that was in, uh, in Murcia. We were recording in Murcia and um, we were sending the record to be mastered in London and we had to kind of, you know, transfer onto a different drive and we made a mistake and we... But we, we, had, we went back three or four weeks and we were able to recover a lot of their recordings. So. Some pressure to release a second album because the first one was so perfect, so it's like difficult to make a better album. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, we we felt pressure to be creative, really, because we toured for two years and and we really wanted to write songs. That's what we love doing. So um, I think we we felt excited and yeah, the the drive to write songs. But I don't think we feel pressured because you know. It's enjoyable writing songs, and it's it's what we do. And you know, it's successful or it's not. We still love that song. You know, if that's not my name and wasn't successful, we'd still feel proud of it. So um, we just wanted to make an album that we loved. So and did. Do, you, and do you know when the second album will be released, more or less? Yeah. Yeah, October. Okay. It will not be called Guns. No. Um, we'll let you know at the end of the game. <laughs> How will be the album, like the first one, or like the single Hands, or...? Well, Hands was a single we put out because we were in Berlin at the time recording and um, we, uh, Calvin, who's an amazing artist, he remixed it and we really loved it and we wanted to put it in the club so we kind of organised with the label to put that out but we were still finishing the, the actual album. So um, that's why that record went out. It was meant to be just something to have some fun with and um, it did really well at the clubs and we loved it. Um, but it's taken, I guess, another four or five months for us to get focused and finish the record because we travelled a lot, we toured for a long time, uh, went to Berlin and, and Spain, and we had some good fun making this record. I guess that we needed to have a break as well because we got so kind of exhausted on tour. And now we've got the album finished, um, and this is our first show back, so um, it's, we're proud of being here. Still. And answering your question about Hans, is that kind of reflective of the album? It's not really, but any song that we release isn't really reflective because we, um, we, you know, we travel for two years and we, we listen to our music differently because we was traveling and we didn't have our record collection with us. And so we just had like random playlists with something like ACDC, then the next song would be Talking Heads. And, and we wanted to make an album that like every song felt different and felt like, you know, a completely different style of music because we kind of like doing that. So um, Hans isn't kind of reflective because that's kind of dance, but the next song we have is like funk or, you know, rock. And about the song Day to Day, you played on a TV show. Yeah. It's from your um, old band, Dear Eskimo, right? No, it wasn't from Dear Eskimo, no. that. No. And so this song will be released on the new record, or...? or it was a song that we, uh, it's really weird, because when we, like Kate said, when we were making this record, we wanted to make a record that made no sense in terms of genre, so we wanted to be able to experience writing a rock track, you know, a dance track, an R&B track. And so many bands can't do that. And we just felt, as we listened to music so randomly for two years on the road, that we, we wanted to make a record like that. And so we went about doing that. So like there was uh, a moment that we were really into TLC when we were mucking about in Berlin. And so we made a record that was called Day to Day that's really out of character in terms of what we normally play and we really enjoyed doing it and it came out amazing and um, the label got really excited about it so we decided that we could you know we stick it on the album and we also made Pans which was a dance track which is also a bit of a diversion from what we normally play but then there's a load of tracks on the album that's very kind of 
how we normally play. Shouting, I like shouting, so um, there's still lots of shouting, like the first album. And are you going to play day to day tonight? No, but we're going to play five new songs, so. Five new songs? Yeah, I've got to remember them, I'm <laughs> crapping myself, so. Um, yeah, okay, the last question, so. How important, how important is fashion in this band? Um, fashion's not, we're really not like trendsetters. I think the fashion world probably like recoils in horror at what we wear. But I think expression's nice, you know? You, you can express how you feel and who you feel like you are. So we're into that, but I don't think we're into fashion. <laughs>